In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to separate the line from the background. This allows you to do two things. One, to color underneath it, like as you notice, the leaves are colored. And the other one is to be able to color the line separately. This line layer is locked, and I can paint it with the paintbrush. I can paint it with the paintbrush, or I can paint it with the gradient tool. There are lots of different options that this makes possible for us. Okay, so we're going to start at the beginning. This is an original scan, and what we're basically going to do is change this file from black to white into a document that goes from black to transparent, or opaque to transparent. Black being opaque and white being transparent. The first thing we need to do is pay attention to the layer, layers palette. In the layers palette, an original scan will come in, and it will have this um, default name, background in italic. This particular layer is a special kind of layer that has two unique properties. One is that it will always be opaque, and, or, and the second one is that it will always be the background or the bottom layer, the back or the bottom layer. So in order to add transparency, we need to make it into a regular layer, and we do this by double-clicking on the icon right here, and then it opens a new layer palette. In the new layer palette, um, the default name is layer zero, and that will work for what we need. So click OK. Then go select, load selection, and in grayscale mode, it will show this option in channel, background gray. Select OK. And then it selects all of the white, and we can select the delete key or the backspace key in order to remove the background. Now I'm going to use Command D to deselect the the um, selection there. So we'll add a white background here so you can see what that looks like. I made a new layer, moved it behind, and then I'm going to fill that with white. Um, option delete, fill with foreground color. And we can zoom in and look at this. So this is what we have. We have a line layer that goes from black to transparent now. Now if we want to make this color and color underneath it, here's what we need to do. I'm going to turn the background layer back on and on the line layer I'm going to lock the transparency. Now I need to change this mode from grayscale to color now. I'm going to use RGB color. So go image, mode, RGB color. And I will not merge the layers. And so if I take a color and select the brush tool with the line layer now, with transparency locked. I want to show you what it looks like before. If I don't lock it, it will go like this. So I'll undo that, Apple, Command Z, and then I'll lock the transparency. And if I do lock it, it will go like this. So it will cover, color everywhere that's opaque. It also col colors the line in values of gray, values of transparency. So let's hide the background layer so you can see that. So this is um, quite useful. The other thing we can do is add a layer between those, and we can color underneath this image. So we have color underneath, and we have the image like that. So that's what you need to do in order to color a layer. Let's go back to the original so you can see what that looks like. Um, and I hope that that's been helpful for you.